Hello everyone and welcome to the Daily Dose of Gatsby. We're in episode 2 today. I'm Shane Thomas. Make sure you're following me on Twitter at smthomas3. Today we're going to be picking up where we left off a few days ago on how to actually build your first Gatsby site. Or at least we'll look at a Gatsby site and so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on uh, when you see the code that's generated by the default starter that comes with Gatsby. The first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to look at a few of the components and subcomponents that make up this Gatsby starter. So if we go into the source components directory in a, uh, just open up your text editor, your code editor, and let's go to the layout.js. So this layout.js is what wraps the site. So inside this layout.js, there's something that's really interesting. So you'll notice, and let's actually run the site so we can take a look. Just run Gatsby develop. If you're using yarn, you can just run yarn develop as well. It just depends on how you uh, want to actually run it, depending on if you're using NPM or yarn. And we can go to our site here. And as you can see, we have our just basic site. This is actually wrapped in a layout. So this layout controls this header and this content is actually coming from the page itself. So let's take a look at that. So you can see there's this header, there's this wrapper in this main section, which has children. This children's the actual page content, and there's also a footer. So if we look here, here's the footer, here's the header, this is the page content that we're gonna actually look at here in a little bit. But first, let's take a look at this header. Remember last time we talked a little bit about what JSX was, and this header section right here, this is actually a React component, and it's passing in the site title. So we'll talk about how, where that data is coming from, but this is called a prop. This prop is essentially similar to just passing a parameter into a function. You're passing data into a component, and then that component can use that data. So we might be wondering, where's this header component? Well, if you look here in our import statement, we're importing this header component from header. So if we look inside the same directory that we're at, you can see there's a header.js file. If we go to that, you can see this is a header component that we're declaring. And you can see right here, this is a React component. It's called header. It's receiving the site title. And then down here inside a link component, which we'll talk about in a little bit, it's outputting the site title. So if we want to find out where this site title is actually coming from, let's go back to our layout. And you'll see this is coming from data.site.sitemetadata.title, which if we go up here, you can see data is getting created here. And it's using something called a static query. So we haven't covered GraphQL yet, but GraphQL essentially allows you to query data um, from either APIs, maybe external data sources, or actually your internal site configuration. And that's what we're doing in this case. We're looking for site, site metadata, title. So we're looking at the site configuration, which I'll show you where that's defined. We're looking in the site metadata section and we're looking for the title. So if we go to gatsbyconfig.js, we'll see this special file um, that stores the Gatsby configuration. And here, if you follow that path, you have site metadata title, you can see it's Gatsby default starter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change this. So if you're following along, go ahead and change that and save it. And when you do, you'll notice that your title changes because that data is getting passed through, through the layout into this header component where it's getting displayed. And I didn't even have to refresh the page. It just hot reloaded that change. So that is how uh, components work within Gatsby. It's just React components. You can break things up however you want. Uh, so you'll often notice that you can break pages into very small subcomponents and just pass data through, uh, through props into those components. So let's look at the link component. If we go to our layout.js, actually our header.js, you'll see we have a link component here, which this just links to slash or to our front page you'll notice we have to import the link component from Gatsby. And if we go back to our site, 
you can see this just links off to our home page. There's also a link component here, which will bring us to page two. Let's take a look at that. So if we go into source pages, you'll see we'll have our index page. This is our home page. And here's the actual content wrapped inside a layout component. Inside here, there's this link component. Let's go ahead and create another link component. I'm just gonna create link to, we'll call it about. And then all we need to do is just close it off. We're gonna call it about, something like that. I missed an equal sign. There we go. And if we save this, go back to our site, you'll notice we now have an about link. You can clean this up, uh, put it in some actual markup so it's not bumped right up against this. But if we click on it, you can see we get the Gatsby JS 404 page because we don't have that page yet. So we actually have to create the page component for this page. So let's actually go ahead and create this about page. We need to make sure we match the path or the URL, so about. And then we're just gonna add JS to the end. The first thing we're gonna do is import React from React. This is needed so we can use JSX. We're gonna import link from Gatsby because we wanna make sure we can use that link component. I'm gonna import our layout from components layout. And so you remember we're in this pages folder. We have to go up a level, then into our components folder, then grab the layout. We're gonna import SEO from the same folder. And this SEO just allows us to add uh, meta tags to our page. So again, this components SEO, if you were to go into this SEO component, you would see uh, that component that we're actually using. So we need to create our page component here. So we're creating one, let's call it about, and this is just a React component. And we're gonna wrap it in our layout component. So everything that's inside this layout is gonna get passed to this layout component here and be output as children. So we're gonna start with our SEO so we can get the meta tags on the page. We can pass in a prop here if we look at this SEO component, we'll see the available props. You can see there's description, language, meta, title. We're just gonna pass in the title. And then this title is of course used in uh, within these meta tags that are output on the site. Then let's just make an H1 and we'll just say about page. And then let's add a link component, which we'll just link back to the home page and we'll just say back to home. Now, if we save it, and we go to our site. I can click on this about link and it's not going to do anything. You might be wondering why is this not working? Well, one important thing, you have to make sure you export any page component that you create. So we're gonna export default about. If you don't export your page component, React doesn't know to create the page, or it's not gonna actually create the page for you. So let's save it. Now we can see we have our about page. We can jump back and forth. So it's important to make sure you actually export your component. That's it for this time on the Daily Dose of Gatsby. Next time we're actually gonna go to how you can pull in data from external sources. So we're gonna skip ahead some, uh, some of the actual other Gatsby stuff and we're gonna learn how you can use GraphQL to pull from, in this case, a Drupal backend but you can use any data source you want. So whether it's a WordPress site, another headless CMS, uh, whether it's markdown files, you can use all different types of things to pull in data into your Gatsby site. So that's it for this time. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.